When speaking of the vitality of the spiritual life, we have often come to expect that we will be hearing about religious tradition and religious doctrine. We honor these and they have a place in many people's lives. But let's wait just a minute. Let's talk about what matters most to you. Let's just take a moment in a quiet setting such as this or a sacred place where you have quietude. So we're gonna take a breath with a count of three, inhale and hold the breath for three and exhale for three. And after you've done some breathing, just say out loud, thank you. Thank you for breath. Thank you for the inhale. Thank you for that space in between inhale and exhale. For that is a sacred place where we hold a lifetime of memories, where in fact we hold ancient memories. As you calmly breathe and slowly close your eyes, see the rising morning sun. This is our first food of the day. Without it, we would not survive. So we open our hearts with a grateful thank you. Imagine then you get up for breakfast, perhaps you dress or go down in your pajamas robe or naked and you go to where you eat breakfast and you turn the corner into that room and you're taken aback for a moment because gathered in that room are people that you know personally. People who have been your heroes, your helpers, your healers, people who have affected your life deeply. These can be grandparents, cousins and nephews, elders, historically known people, religiously known people from religious traditions and spiritual traditions, and they're gathered all around you as they ask you to take your seat and you breathe. There may be only a few in the room whose lives you have touched, or maybe many in the room and many outside whose lives you have personally touched. And they ask you to sit down and they bring you food and drink and they ask you to inhale and exhale. And what happens next makes today unlike any other day. What happens next is each person in their turn takes a step toward you, breathing, looking deeply into your eyes, and they begin to tell you the story of how you affected their lives. Again, these are elders, grandparents, some siblings, many, many people, but each one, one at a time, stepping forward toward you, looking into your eyes. They tell you how you affected their life, how perhaps you were their hero or their helper, or perhaps you were their healer, perhaps you were their deep friend. Without speaking to them, Take in what they're saying to you, if you choose, how you have affected them. Listen to what they have to say. Take your time. You don't have to hurry. As you prepare to come out of this experience, still with your eyes closed, taking a moment to just reflect on all the faces you saw and the things you heard as they stepped forward to tell you how you impacted their lives. Breathing, slowly opening your eyes, coming back to this moment in this quiet and sacred space. I leave you with two things. One, you can do this every morning. In fact, this happens every morning. We just don't pay attention to it. All those who love us and care for us, whose lives we have impacted, are here. 
as the sun arises, our first food of the day. We break fast in the presence of this vast company whom we have known throughout our lives. I call this the breakfast club. And every morning, they greet us. And we greet them with thank you. There's a story in ancient tradition that says when a story is being told anywhere around the world, it knows it is being told. Imagine in the morning when we awake and at the table, or at the sunrise, our first food of the day, and we gather our breakfast list, those who have loved us through our lifetime, whose lives we have affected, and they gather around us and we tell the story of our lives that golden thread that runs through it. The story itself knows that it is being told and comes and wraps itself around us. I want you to take a few minutes and write down your experience here or record it, put it in your iPad so that you can refer to it again and again because I want to ask you to do this every morning for a year. You break fast in the morning, the first food of the day comes and greets us. Without whom we would have no life, this forest would die. But it is fully alive. In its season, we are too. And so we invite all those people into the room, our breakfast club, if you will, every morning for a year. This is the first step in the vitality of the spiritual life. Do this for a year, every morning. I'd like to see how it goes. And remember, as all of those gather around us and the stories are being told and the stories gather around us too at the dawning of our day, as we break fast, all of our hearts will quiver because the story knows it's being told all around the world. And that's a miracle as magnificent as the rising sun. The breakfast club, the breakfast list, every morning is good medicine. So thank you for joining us here at Medicine Singing. And maybe we could have breakfast sometime together. Take care. <laughs>